So the big discovery that we made was we've been, for about the past five years, we've been working with the last elements that you can work with that are, that are stable even for short periods of time on Earth, and those elements are berkelium and californium. What we found in the, really the fourth berkelium compound we prepared, which is by the way, only the fourth berkelium compound ever really well characterized, is that there's a certain set of rules that govern um, how electrons line up around atoms, okay? And we call, in, 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 chemists call those rules Hund's rules. And what we found out is berkelium was breaking those rules. And it turned out the reason that the rules were being violated is because the effects of relativity were becoming so large that the theories that were given all the way back in the 1920s that provided these rules, they made certain assumptions that really aren't true when relativity is playing a big role. And so what, what we're finding is in elements like berkelium and californium, which are very, very difficult to work with, is that you're seeing kinds of chemistry and kinds of uh, quantum mechanical behavior that you simply don't see in light elements. So it's, uh, um, as someone was, was joking earlier, it is almost like being in an alternative universe because you're seeing chemistry that you don't see with day-to-day -day, um, elements. When you look at how the field was when you started and you fast forward 20 years later and realize that, that uh, you know, you've had a, an impact on, on the overall field, uh, that's pretty exhilarating. It's, and it's really humbling. You know, I, I, um, I have a tough time wrapping my mind around it a lot of the time.